Hi guys, so I was, uh, for those of you that are, were on the live stream earlier, I'm just kind of reconnecting here. Why am I connecting with you all today? Well, if you've been wondering what I've been up to over the last little bit, we have been gearing up for an auction sale. I've been busy doing all sorts of stuff and we are getting ready to sell all the wonderful things that you saw us clearing out of the house, Morris and Donna's home, uh, when we did the collector's house clear out. So for those of you that don't know, June 12th, kauctions.ca, uh, will be when the auction is closing, but very soon, in the next day or two, we're gonna have all this online and able to be bid on. Um, and so there are tons and tons of items. Now, I thought that today I would be, uh, I take this opportunity to do a live feed and show you guys exactly what was going on. So I'm going to um, spin the camera around and show you guys exactly what's going through the sale. Well, at least some of the stuff that's going through the sale. It's just a um, sort of a process. And we are gonna um, show you some cool stuff. So without further ado, let me flip it around to the cool stuff and I'll show you what's going on. Now we took over 16 tons of items from the house, five of which came to auction. Five tons of items came to auction and we've got it all laid out here, ready for the sale. The others, well, went to charity. Um, some of it went to the dump, but we got a lot of really great things and I'm here to talk about those things today and to show you what's going on. Um, so there are pressed steel toys, like this big fire truck. There are, you know, antique sea cadet hats, um, cookie jars, Ninja Turtle van. Why not? People like the Ninja Turtles. Um, this is a cool piece. That's a mid-century modern Ingram um, Sunstar sort of looking uh, electric clock. There are people who love these. And every time uh, somebody's into home decor for, from that 50s sort of look, they're looking for that clock. We've got one here that's going to be going up for auction. Um, they can be quite valuable, but everything's going up no reserve. So we'll find out what things are going to go for. There's vintage art glass vases. Um, I thought this was kind of cool. This is a 1950s pen holder, but it's uh, Inuit style, so it looks like a soapstone. And it holds your fancy schmancy pen, so you'd have that on your desk. That's a cool piece. There's chalet glass, which is that great sort of 50s kind of art glass. Um, these were quite interesting. We've sold these before. They always do well. It's a little shot dispenser. It's a liquor dispenser. You move your cup around like so, and then you pump it and your alcohol comes out and you grab your cup. Now this one has a serving tray on the bottom or a drip tray as well. This doesn't have that, but um, there's a choice of, you know, one that's very complete and one that's not. Maybe somebody's got one they're trying to finish off. So I figured to put it through the sale. There's all sorts of antique photos, um, advertising, you know, artwork, both original, a lot of original artwork actually. Um, some this is a vintage uh, clean cutter tobacco advertisement it's a poster so it's probably newer but it is um, a more unique image there are or embra embroidered wicker baskets heck why not a box lot full of clocks vintage board games galore well there's something for everybody at this sale and as i was going through um, there was a few things that really stood out. Now, we've got a lot of suitcases here. This just looks like a really cool alligator skin case. Oh, uh, Mima Mary says, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Uh, send us a super chat. Um, this right here looks like a little suitcase. What is it? It's a salesman sample. How neat is this? This would be what you'd take to uh, try and convince people to buy your product. And what were they selling? Charles of the Ritz products. And look, it's complete and it's double-sided. So it opens up twice and you've got all your products in there to show off and display. And there's a little travel case. So you can convince people that they need to buy Charles de Ritz blended powders and so forth. But what a cool little case. And uh, even for people who have um, a love vintage or love old suitcases, there's actually quite a variety of vintage bags and suitcases from doctor's cases and, and uh, travel luggage and so forth. Um, we've also put some big boxes full of stuff. Now, Paul was looking these up. These are... Um, there's wool and there's chenille at the bottom here. Wool and chenille blankets can be like a hundred dollars each or more. And this is a box full of them full going out for sale. Hand carved wooden statues. We got them. Tiny little random display cases for things. We got those too. Um, I was searching through and there were some fun little curio boxes. So some things we'll go through is a lot like, um, this whole case full of stuff with the little leather teddy bears going up as one lot the old uh, Tonka trucks, um, this random assortment of world coins, because who doesn't like world coins and old money? 
I just was having a really fun time finding interesting things from around that house to bring down for the sale. There are people who collect the Campbell's kids. And here we have a Campbell's collectible clock, the Sam Campbell Soup Kids. I think there's a Rusty Wallace jacket. Carved horns that somebody spent an awful lot of time doing up. I've never seen one of these bug sprayers before either. That's kind of cool. And people do collect these because they have advertising on them. Knight Indian Brave is what it says on it brand and they've got sort of a, a chief on horseback that would probably date to the 1940s and what does it kill flies mosquitoes cockroaches ants bed bugs moths well it'll kill everything probably best to leave the house when you're using that stuff oh and there was a fair bit of interest in this there's a story to this um they had to um redo the cover because the um well let's say the artwork the spires on that castle well they, they thought it looked like something else. So this is the sort of outlawed version of the Little Mermaid cover, which makes it much more valuable. Um, they ended up redoing it for future covers, but that's kind of an interesting piece. Uh, there's Bakelite phones, little toy cash registers, and we were talking about albums and records, and there are boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes, boom, 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 thousands of records, of LPs, and we're selling them by the box full. What's in them? I don't know. You'll have to bid and get them and see what's inside. There are tons and tons of records in there. Um, there's chalkware figures. Um, see this? Box of antique assorted kitchen boxes and tins. The whole box goes up as one lot. Uh, case full of assorted vintage cutlery. Like There's all sorts of unique box lots for people who are maybe buying um, to resell, as we've had in the past. Vintage household collectibles. I mean, look, cool Mountie tin in there, um, Avon bottles, old whiskey jugs and Crocs. There's such an assortment of stuff in here that um, there's going to be a little bit of something for everybody. Um, there's also old Christmas ornaments. And where are they? I was looking in earlier and we had just a pile of Pyrex. If a person likes Pyrex, oh, this was neat. Hang on. While I'm looking, there's some Pyrex there. There is probably over 55 pieces of Pyrex going through the sale. So if you are a fan of Pyrex dishes, you will find them here. Um, this was kind of a neat piece. It's like a little kid's push toy horse. Thought that was cute. Remember this from the first episode I was in there, the 60s Poochie style file cabinet. It's tin, but what a fun look and what a great little decor item. Um, a whole collection of lapel pins. Actually, that one's a uh, Air Canada purser pin. There might be some really uh, collectible. I never even looked through here. There's probably some really neat stuff in here. Can't get lost in it. Got to let it go. There's a Stetson, a real Stetson cowboy hat. And of course, if you don't know Stetson, Stetson is the high-end stuff. Stetson is where it's at when it comes to cowboy hats. That's the expensive stuff. And there's a Stetson in its box. Oh, this was cool. I'd never seen one of these before. This is a doctor's bag, doctor style bag, but it's cowhide. That's like a Wild West doctor would have had that with the leather on there, the cowhide. How cool is that? Um, that's, of course, going up. All these different... Uh, look, are you lonely? How about the game of love? The game of love, love by Hasbro. The Yogi Bear game. Uh, Ouija board, which creeps some of you out. Woo, woo. Um, Dial art Mickey Mouse set, E.T. board games. Oh boy, all sorts of stuff. If you're from Manchester, there's a couple books on Manchester. Fisher Price Airport with airplanes. I could go on. There are tons of things. In fact, five tons of things going through the sale. Can I name them all? No. Can I show you them all? Probably not. But, you know, antique hall stand. There is some furniture. This is an antique store display. There was a time I could have used that in my own store. Tempted, I was tempted on that one when I find these cool old store fixtures to take them home. Uh, not home, but take them to the shop because I'd have a use for it. But everything had to come down. Big old Kirby vacuum. Somewhere around here, there's a bird cage too, which is pretty cool. Not sure where it made off to, but there is going to be a ton of stuff. Oh, and this statue is really, it's like the five senses on a pyramid. Don't ask me what's going on there, but I think it's pretty cool. Oh, look, it's got like the Pink Floyd. Look at that. That's like your, your Pink Floyd sort of prism going on. <laughs> I guess it's just a prism, but it reminds me of Pink Floyd. Dark Side of the Moon album. Anyway, it's a funky piece of art, that's for sure. Uh, skateboard randomly. I don't know. If you can't find something in this sale, I don't know what you're going to do. Um, I was over here earlier, and I was talking about the piano stools, the Schroeder May painting. 
which is potentially worth thousands of dollars. Beautiful original oil painting, just hanging out here on the floor until we find a spot for it. Um, antique magazine rack, green painted with enamel. I actually think that's really cool myself. Um, so there's a little bit of something for everybody. And I was showing this off. There's an 1800s button framed. Don't ask me why. I guess people collect buttons, but that's an 1800s button. But this was a neat piece because it had the, the little police banner all here, you know, the cast metal. It's probably like made in the 60s or 70s to look like an 1800s piece, but it's still really neat. It's got all the chains, and when you move it back and forth, the horses gallop as if they're galloping down the road to, I don't know, well, apparently to beat somebody, um, or I don't know. Maybe they're gonna. Maybe they're jugglers. Maybe these are jugglers that are dressed like police, and they're just gonna go juggle. Either way, it's kind of a neat piece. Um, we've got the sprout cookie jar. We've got the planters peanut jar. We've got the um, stone carved box with the stone carved peacock on it. Really neat piece. Um, alabaster, I think, is what that would be. A little Yorkie. <laughs> they cute. I've got a Yorkie, so you know, you see a little Yorkie, and you go, "Oh, isn't that cute?" Um, there are some boxes, I think, with buttons in them, some bins of buttons. There's old books. These are all sort of western theme books in this bin, including Jim the Conqueror. Who could it be? It's Jim. It's Jim the Conqueror. But I really did like the... Sometimes when they're missing the dust covers, you don't see what the artwork was like. And there's some really neat artwork on these dust covers. Um, carved horns. What else can I show you? I don't know. There's so much neat stuff. Antique style telephones. Uh, the John Deere cookie jar. All of this will be going up for sale right away and will be up until uh, June 12th when the sale ends. We did this whole tray of action figures, one big tray. There's Ghostbuster dudes, which sell really well at my shop, by the way. These guys, look, that was me when I first saw the house. Ah! I ended up buying it anyway. Uh, look, there's a Pillsbury Doughboy. There's Mr. T. He's hanging out with the Doughboy in here. He pities a fool who doesn't bid on this auction. Uh, there's Speedy. I've never seen, uh, you don't see much for McDonald's branded stuff but this is a vintage mcdonald's piggy bank ceramic so tons and tons of fun stuff guys i encourage you to go check it out online there are a few surprises too there's a box full of i don't know 200 postcards here antique kids sewing machines um this is solid that's carved jade that's a little bit more of a special piece that's a very intricate carved jade lady beautifully done with the little stand that it sits on Treasures abound all over the place. Old Pez dispensers. So if you are interested, you can go to kauctions.ca and sign up. The sale will be online within the next couple days here. And you'll be able to see all the pictures of the wonderful things that we found inside the house. All the gems, in my opinion, that came out of the house. And you'll be able to place bids. They'll ship all over the world. And they've got different um, shipping company to send all this stuff out to you. Uh, so they're going to make sure that it's well packed and, and it is insured. So they'll take care of you. But we've made sure to make it interesting that there's something for everybody. So if you're into vintage lighters like antique bullet lighters, we got a whole bucket of them for you. Um, there's just stuff all over the place. So guys, check it out. Kauctions.ca. This um, sale is going to be kind of a fun one because a lot of the stuff is very accessible. It's not like it's a whole bunch of diamond rings and things like that. It is all fun stuff that should be fair prices. Boxfuls of bunny uh, bunnykins dishes from Royal Dalton. Boxes of clocks. You know, there's going to be something here for everybody. Um, so, guys, I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Don't forget to check out Castner Auctions because um, the proceeds of this, basically how it's working out, um, we're splitting the proceeds with the uh, owners of the house. So not only will it benefit my business, um, but it's also going to benefit Morris and Donna, who might be doing some renovations around the home which in turn benefits Hans because uh, because Hans is going to be doing some of the repairs. So everybody kind of wins in this situation. Either way, um, we're working our best. We're going to promote it and uh, we're going to have a good sale. So thanks for watching, guys. Check out the auction and um, good luck bidding. I hope you get some good stuff. We'll see you all soon and bye for now.